Hey, what's up? It's Sergeant Dr. Funk, and uh, I took the liberty of driving myself to the job center. You know where it is. You don't need to see me drive there a bunch more. As it turns out, I am still actually stuffy today like I was the last time I recorded. Why you come here? Which is freaking exciting. I'm so excited about it because there's a new this like there's a new kind of let's play curse out there and it's that I just stuffy when I record now. However, I will be releasing a PSA, not a PSA, maybe a PSA, depending on your idea of public service, <laughs> um, about my let's play. Anyway, so stuff, I don't know. Anyways, we taken on the next uh, mini job here, and it's not a bad one. It's pretty easy, actually. Um, so I'm actually kind of looking forward to doing it. Oh, and hey, I have stuff to talk about this time, because, like, E3's been going on and stuff like that, you know. Everybody knows about E3, except Ray. Ray has no idea what that is. Can you tell him? How does, how, how does one who plays games not know what E3 is? Hold on, let me, I want to go back here. And then park back here. Let me see. Let's see something. Alright, so here we go. A dictate perseverance. Perseverance leads to money or honey or nami. Tuna. What? I not even read that. So get get wanking. Get wanking, you bloody wanker. I need a good wank right now myself. What are you talking about? Okay, so this one's just easy. You just hold B till he Three, fills up two, and nomin in my bike is bad. Oh god, I couldn't find the arrow. Yes! But yeah, this is a this is kind of an easy game. Oh shit, except when you get an arrow that's like right there. And when you and when your game starts lagging, that would suck. The game about timing. Kind of important. Anyways. Yeah, I'm gonna suck at this one. Stop giving me hard one oh I got that one, but stop giving me hard ones just still, because my sanity needs to be better because yes. I don't know. <laughs> I have a feeling things are about to get insane. Insanity. It's insane. I don't know. I was just trying to make a joke there about how I can't speak, but whatever. Yes. I'm fine. I'm fine with not. Anyway, it's a good commentary. Uh, E3 has been bugging the piss out of me. And it's not because I'm disappointed. It's because fans are bitches. Like Nintendo's conference. It was a pretty good freak conference, you know? Talking about the Wii U and stuff and all the stuff you can do and some of the new games for it and stuff like that. Um, yeah, disappointing that there wasn't a big reveal. Yes. I get that as a fellow Nintendo fan, but seriously, some of the things that people are saying about the conference, like, it's ridiculous. Basically, if you took into account everyone's complaints about the conference, Nintendo would have to release a game from every single series they own, pretty much. And then some. Like, it, it's, it was totally, like, ridiculous. I mean, I actually went to e3.nintendo.com to um, watch the DS conference last night, or part of it. And everyone was bitching. The whole sidebar of the live Twitter feeds or whatever was just everyone complaining about what games weren't there granted that conference was also crappy because they didn't reveal anything new like i don't know it's just weird i like i mean i can agree that there wasn't you know a showstopper game or anything now at, at nintendo z3 but like i don't know it's just I don't think it's right to complain about everything that didn't get announced or shown off, you know? And I think there were th some things that they could have shown off that they didn't. Like, I know, I read an, ar how? an article on IGN last night about how um, they talked to Reggie fils after the 3DS, con uh, 3DS concert, the 3DS uh, show last night about Fire Emblem, and he said it was coming out, so it's like, dude, why didn't you say anything about that? Like, 
that's why some of the other series besides Mario aren't popular, because you don't talk about them, you know? I mean, we all know about how I feel about Fire Emblem. They need to release Fire Emblem 6 on, wow, I did terrible. How did I get a gold only doing 19? I got like 30 one time. <laughs> like the last time I played this mini game, I got 30. I got 19 that time because it kept giving me hard ones and stuff. But yeah, I mean, it's like, why don't you show off a little bit of Fire Emblem and stuff? And the thing that's weird about this E3 and like past E3s, um, is it, you know, in E3s past, they would show off games that wouldn't be released for like three years. And that was really cool because it was exciting and there was like, um, you know, like mystery about, oh God. Or, uh, let's not do that one this time. We'll do that in the next episode. Um, what else? Okay, yeah, we'll do these two. <sighs> what was I saying? May you find your over I forget what I was saying. What was I saying? Oh, yeah, like, in E3's past, like, they would show us games that wouldn't be released for three years. They'd give us, like, these little demos of, of um, you know of Zelda and stuff and things would change and that was exciting because we got to see things from the game that weren't actually in the game you know we got to see a little bit of the thought pro thank you car we got to see a little bit of the thought process that went in when my we destroyed stadium I think <laughs> um, a little bit of the thought process that went into the game you know we got to see a little bit of that like how the game progressed and we got to grow along with it in a way so it's kind of disappointing that we're getting games that are going to be out by the end of the year or next year or whenever. Actually, actually with this E3, it was mostly just at the end of this year. You know, so I'm kind of disappointed about that. I mean, I'm not going to say it wasn't a pretty disappointing E3, because it was. You know, I wanted to see a little bit more. I wanted to see a brand new game that would really, you know... It's, ah, it's not that I'm sold on the Wii you either because I am like I'm I want the system because I know it's going to be great um and fun and new and fresh and it, it looks you know it, looks, it just looks great you know? it looks fun it looks like something I want to play but I don't know uh, damn it this is gonna end up like the last time isn't it damn it this is should have practiced Damn it! I hate that game so much. Anyways, I'll off-screen it again. I can't believe that's the second time I failed that. Son of a bitch. Well, let's go have a better time with the other one. Wow. What a waste of time now. I can't... Uh, I might not even do that. Like, I don't think I get anything for golding those anyway. Like, I just get money. So I might, I might not even finish that game. Go back and do that game because it's just annoying. And because we've unlocked a much better one, which we will see next episode, and I will be joyous. Um, but what else? Something. I don't know. E three, E three was just a big mess. Like, I'm not gonna bitch about what they didn't show. Like specifically, like no Animal Crossing. Give us Zelda. Dude, Skyward Sword just freaking came out, dude. Zelda, like, like, really, just came out. Fresh off the presses, dude. Go chill. Go, go play through that again or something. I mean, I don't know. Maybe Mask for too much. Majora's Mask for 3DS would be nice, okay? That's, that's all I'm going to say about that. Like, just the idea of it. And I mean, I guess, I guess they did show us new stuff, you know? They showed us, uh cute baseball round too. They showed us, um, you know, like P100 and stuff like that, which is cool. I don't quite get that game yet. I don't understand it fully, but I mean, it's new. It looks good. Nintendo Land looks good. I don't know if it's like awesome, but it looks good. But, you know, the, the cool thing about the prospect of Nintendo Land excites me because I am all about crossover. 
I am just like such a big idea of merging your mythos into one huge, you know, story or game or whatever. I am so into that. Like, um, please tell me there's a red light. Damn it, I'm in the grass. There's no red lights in the grass. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm so about that. Like, I don't know why Mario Kart isn't like Super Smash Kart, you know? Like, what is the point of keeping the Mario games, the sports games, and anything that isn't a Mario platformer in the Mario series? What is the point of that? Why isn't it, why isn't it Nintendo Party, you know? Like, I don't, I don't understand that. Like, wouldn't the variety of play styles and the, um, and therefore, like, the, ex bleh, what am I trying to say? Like the variety of play styles and the, um, I'm trying not to use the word variety again, but wouldn't having a lot of different, uh, series and influences make a game more rich? I don't know. I'm just, I'm just thinking out loud here, but I, I feel like, you know, Super Smash Brothers isn't necessarily conducive to like Solid Snake. You know, Star Fox does not does not inherently fit in the world with Zelda or Kirby, but yet in Smash Brothers it works. Nintendo's um, original franchises all seem to have, you know, at least something in common that allows them to be put into a game together and work. So I don't know why that same thing can't be applied to something like a Mario Party game. I don't, I don't, you know, I don't get it. So, I mean, I'm all about the crossovers. I mean, just give us, like, Smash Kart and, you know, S Smash Party, whatever. I don't, you know, I just don't see why, why it all has to be Mario. There's just, like, there's so much Mario. There's, like, Mario all the time. I don't know, it's crappy. Oh, and I was hoping for No More Heroes 3. Because... Because uh, Suda51 said that he would, that he might make a new one on Nintendo's new console when it gets announced. Maybe he's not doing that. I don't know. But that would be cool, especially since I've been playing through the second one too. Right now, and it's just it's just awesome shit I missed. But uh, yeah, that's my Fuse 23. That was basically this whole video. Is it? Oh, th yeah, that is 60,000. Excellent. Very good. See, that's why we don't even do batting killing spree. I'm not even going to go back and do it, actually. We have enough money for the next ranking battle, but we're not going to go there quite yet as we have another assassination mission to do. And it will be very fun and awesome, and I want to give it kind of its own episode. Thank you, Fire Hydrant. Um, so, next time on Let No More Heroes, we will be ignoring batting killing spree because it sucks, and we will be going to take on a brand new assassination mission, which I will be talking a little bit at length about, instead of talking about E3 over all the stuff that I was, just, like, I imagine that could be, that, that could have some comedic value, just me talking about E3 and Kirby while Travis is, like, murdering people in the most brutal way possible. Anyway, um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, next time on uh, No More Heroes, we would take on the last new assassination mission. Um, I actually have to go to the gym off screen, so I'm going to go ahead and drive over there so you don't forget where it is. <laughs> um, I forgot about that. But yeah, that's what we'll be doing next time. Thank you for tuning in, and I will see you then.